Hey guys, it's BuffQ again. Tonight I'm bringing you a review on the Spyderco Clippy Tool. This is a little Swiss Army-esque type pocket knife that has more than one feature. Obviously the majority of Spyderco's knives are all one-bladed knives, so really, you know, you don't have something like a multi-tool or a Victorinox type pocket knife. You've just got a large main blade on most of Spyderco's knives. This is one of the few knives, and yes, I know there are a few, but this is one of the few knives that Spyderco offers a little bit of diversity or um, more than one option. So this knife is extremely similar in its size to the Spyderco Grasshopper, which is one of their bug series knives. There's the grasshopper right there, if you can see that. Um, both similar in price as well as construction. So these are all slip joint knives. These are non-locking. That's kind of a big bonus if you're interested in carrying one knife, no matter where you are within this country or really even abroad. Um, slip joints are seem to be the, the accepted or allowed form of a pocket knife no matter where you are. Now, this is by no means any kind of legal advice. I'm certainly not uh, a lawyer or anything like that, but they're non-locking, so I know within big cities here within the U.S., there are some legalities. I know New York City, you're, you're not allowed to carry any kind of a locking knife. Um, based off what I've read in Chicago, you're okay to carry a locking knife as long as the blade is less than 2.5 inches. I think New York City, you can get away with anything less than four inches, but it can't be locking. So you really want to make sure you know what the local um, what the local laws are when you're about to travel somewhere, especially within a big city. And that was kind of the reason I bought the little um, clippy tool. This particular one, I'll move the grasshopper out of the way. This particular one is the screwdriver slash bottle opener version. Spyderco has three different options when you look at their clippy tools. There's this one, there's one with a serrated, a serrated blade instead of a bottle opener and a screwdriver. It's just a small serrated blade there. And then there's another one that is uh, scissors. So it's kind of like the scissors you have on one of the Victorinox um, Swiss Army knives. Okay. This one appealed to me because I am, I do travel to, to big cities, not super frequently, but frequently enough that I thought it'd be nice to have a little pocket knife that I could legally carry essentially anywhere within the U.S. The blade length on this is, um, is right at two inches, so you're pretty much safe no matter where you go with that two inch blade. Again, it is a slip joint, so you have a non-locking blade, so you don't have any kind of legal issues there. Um, the weight on this, this is 1.9 ounces, so it's extremely lightweight. And one of the coolest things, in my opinion, is it comes with the pocket clip on it. So that differs from the Bug Series. Again, here comes the Grasshopper back onto the table. The Bug Series knives do not come with pocket clips on them, all right? So they're just completely um, smooth on, on both sides. No, uh, no hardware for you to, to mount a pocket clip. I suppose you could do one yourself if you wanted to. Kind of defeats the purpose. I mean, these knives are so affordable. Um, I guess if you want to put in the time and work, you certainly could. But the Clippy Tools do come with the pocket clip, hence the clip part of their name, Clippy Tool. Um, that's really where the name comes from because it clips to your pocket and yeah, it is essentially a tool. Again, getting back with, I'm, I'm certainly not giving you any kind of legal advice, but a good point to be made here is if you were to carry this knife in a large city, uh, say, you know, Chicago, just purely for example, um, if, if someone, if a, if a, pol a police officer saw this clip sticking out of your pocket and for some reason wanted to stop you for a minute just to check out what you have on you, this this makes it very clear that, yeah, I'm not carrying something to try and do any kind of harm to anybody. I'm, I'm carrying literally a tool. This is a tool in my pocket. Um, the appeal for all of us that buy these 
The appeal is it can be opened with one hand, and yes, even though it is a small, small little knife, it still can be opened quite easily with one hand. Um, when you when you first hold one of these, you think there's no way you'll be able to do it. It's just so it feels so um, I don't know. It's it's kind of the same size as the as the ladybug. I think I have one up here. You just don't really think you're gonna be able to open it with one hand, but just like you can the ladybug. All right, you can open that super easy with one hand. Same thing here with the clippy tool. Opens easy, no problem. Same with closing it. One and done, no problem. So you, you've got a, a Spyderco version of a Victorinox uh, Swiss Army knife in your pocket. And for, for people like us who really like Spyderco products, that's pretty cool. Uh, the reason I bought this was because, again, I'm, go I'm going to be doing some traveling here soon, and I wanted to have something that I could carry with me no matter where I am, and it still says Spyderco on it. It's just because I love the brand that much. Uh, I, I love all things Spyderco. Uh, so having a, a knife that's legal no matter where you go, that's a pretty cool thing to me. So just a quick look at it, guys. I, I know there's nothing really all that enthralling or interesting about this. The bottle opener, eh, whatever has its place. The main attraction is that flathead screwdriver on the end. Okay, that's really the reason I, I wanted this particular model instead of the serrated blade or the scissors. Um, with what I do for work, I do it very occasionally. I need a very small screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, uh, to get and do little things, and so this to me just looked like the perfect thing. You can take it no matter where you are. 1.9 ounces, full flat grind. It is 8 CR 13 MOV steel, so you know you, you, you're 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 at a price point that is very affordable. I picked this knife up for 37 dollars out the door. Um, you know, tip up only carry. Right hand only carry, so you are somewhat limited if you're left-handed person. Yeah, that's not exactly fair for you folks, I suppose. Um, but otherwise, it's a great little tool. Feels very solid in the hand. The lockup is nice. There's no blade play at all, side to side, up and down. Um, it feels very well made. It doesn't feel cheesy or uh, cheap or, or like it was... <laughs> Like it was done uh, in a hurry. Just like everything Spyderco, it feels quality. Um, and it feels like it's going to stand up for as many years as as you think it would. So there you are. Just a quick look at the Spyderco Clippy tool. Um, wanted to give you guys just an idea as far as the size. That's why I put the other blades on the table here. Again, that's the Ladybug. Just above it here, Spyderco Grasshopper. Just by way of reference, here it is alongside of, um, here's a Victorinox Classic, okay, Classic SD. So you can kind of get an idea of, of where this fits. Put up here, put up here a dragonfly, and all of a sudden that dragonfly looks huge, which is certainly not. Um, but that kind of gives you an idea of size-wise where it is. A nice overall blade as well as um, multi-tool if you want to consider it that. So hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.